introduce the other candidate that's here who wants to introduce himself to this group. And it's Bo, it's just, it's Chatsky. It's Chatsky. It's Chatsky. Do you want to come over here, Bo? I can yeah. go over there. Yeah. yeah, why don't you go over here and light the lights a little better? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you can, you you can, can go right there, it would be perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that'd be perfect. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind Good me for me. Bo, Bo's a okay. candidate for um, um, third congressional district. You can Here's tell that I have a heavy accent, right? So I'm a newcomer to this country 20 years ago, 21. In fact. 1989, I moved uh, to United States. I uh, grew up in kibbutz, Ramat Menashe is a kibbutz. Uh, everybody knows what a kibbutz is in Israel. So I am. Uh, I uh, grew up and uh, up until 21 lived in a socialistic system to know enough that it doesn't work. <laughs> so I'm not a very big advocate of uh, soci any socialism. I lived it on my own flesh to know enough that it doesn't work. Um, in, from 1976 to 1979, I served in the, in the Israeli military uh, or armed force, the IDF. Uh, Israel stands for Israeli Defense Forces. Then after that I did uh, quite an intensive travels all over the world um, uh, to um, Thailand, uh, Egypt, uh, all the Orient, Nepal, India. I spent a lot of time there and all over Europe. Uh, and I had some friends that I met in Israel while I was in the kibbutz as a teenager uh, from Switzerland, um, which uh, left me staying in Switzerland for most of the 80s, so I spent a lot of time in Europe too. So, and then in 1989 I moved here, my ex-wife is an American, and I met her in Switzerland, we decided to move here to the uh, United States, we chose Bethany uh, as our hometown, and ever since I'm here. In uh, 2005 I decided to get involved after September 11. 9-11, uh, 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 I decided to, uh, that I need to get involved because at that time I was attending school. I have a master's in oriental medicine. Predominantly I do acupuncture, uh, but I studied also Chinese herbs. Uh, totally out of anything to, that has to do with public service, but uh, my school was in Manhattan, not that far away from uh, Ground Zero. And being grow, having, you know, being grown in Israel, uh, facing that, all these issues on a daily basis, and then seeing it here in America, not very close. I mean, literally, the the, the by far the largest terror act ever happened in the world, um, made me realize that I need to get involved. So, I graduated in 2004. In 2005, I ran as an independent. I always felt that I am an independent. I ran for first selectman in my hometown, Bethany. Um, and then I realized that I want to get more involved for the purpose of having more of a say in public, uh, in public service. But realized that the independence at that time uh, didn't do very well, didn't fare very well. Um, and the uh, monopoly that the two major parties have on the political system is so extensive that I decided to join the Republicans. I thought that I would be able to influence better if I joined one of the two major parties. Um, I joined the uh, Republicans in 2000, not shortly after the, uh, in Bethany, we are one of those strange parties here in Connecticut where elections, municipal elections are, uh, uh, are on, in May, not in November. There are 16 towns, like six, that. Towns. six or six 16, towns. six Only towns. Six. Uh, so I joined, uh, shortly after I joined the Republicans in 2006, um, I ran against uh, Joe Crisco for State Senate, that's the 17th district, and joined also the uh, state, uh, the Republican State Central Committee. I sat on their committee for two years, so I know all the inside works of, uh, of the Republicans here in Connecticut. And <coughs> I've seen quite a lot. In, uh, in two years ago, I ran against Rosa Villora for uh, U.S. Congress. And the day after the elections, I, we received nearly 20% of the votes, around like almost 60,000 60, uh, votes. I was very impressed. Uh, 
considering the very little support that they got from my own party when I was carrying the flag for them, when nobody else dared to run against Rosa de Loro. Obviously, Rosa de Loro is a very established, uh, has a very, Rosa de Loro has a very established uh, political machine, not only here, but all over, also in Washington, which is very difficult to, uh, to overcome, or she's very difficult to make her retire. <laughs> which is what I want to see her do. So, day after the election in 2008, I already announced that I'm going to run again. And ever since, every time I, I uh, published as, mu as much as I could on the, web on the website and uh, I tried to gather more and more and more support. Um, this year, I am very disappointed with what I've seen during my two years at the State Central Committee. And in addition to it, uh, the, uh, all these uh, uh, politics that are going on in between the Democrats and the Republicans, which is I cannot stand anymore. And regardless of the fact that I was an affiliated with the Republicans, I am talking about that nothing has changed. And I think that there is something that needs to be changed. In addition to it, I see now an opening for independence as well. I am. It's interesting that the Republicans or conservatives in general, when they talk about economies, they always talk about free markets, free financial markets. But when they talk about politics, they want to keep it exclusively for the, uh, they don't want to talk about free choices in the political system as they would like to see in the free markets, which is very interesting for me. I am pro-choices across the board. The more choices we have, the more uh, the, the free markets will decide and take their part. Uh, I come from Israel where there are many, many, many political uh, parties and it is, it can be, it, it can become very dynamic but it's very interesting and a lot of people can affiliate and associate themselves more specifically with one party than on the other while here in America there are two major parties that control the whole political system and they don't let anybody in. Things have changed. Uh, since Obama took, uh, took uh, office, he, I believe, well, according to his campaign promises, he promised hope, change and hope. I think that a huge change happened, and there is a lot of hope. Maybe it's not the president's change and hope that he envisioned, but there is a lot of change that is going on in the country, and there is a lot of opening for independent voices to rise up and speak up. And just here, specifically in Connecticut, the largest, by far, the largest uh, block of voters are the unaffiliated and the independents. And when mm -hmm. I talk about independents, I talk about uh, Democrats and Republicans as well that will not vote uh, the parties in line. They'll vote by the individual itself. They'll listen to the individual, even if it's a Republican and they're affiliated with the Democrats, they'll vote the Republicans. They'll vote by the individual. So I'm very happy to see that because I'm, I'm a believer in the more